It's day two of Occupy Appleton, the area movement spurred by Occupy Wall Street. The group is demonstrating at City Park this weekend, but today members turned their focus toward corporate banks. Some who live and work in the community say if the movement's intent is to foster change, that needs to be made clear. Fox 11's Bill Miston brings us multiple views. Around 20 Occupy Appleton members descended on College Avenue, calling for people to take their money out of corporate banks. They are incredibly corrupt, and they they just care nothing about the you know about regular people. Supporter Randall Jawar is a self-employed construction worker. He says he can't afford health care anymore since his work and other resources dried up. He adds the huge profits of the few are alienating the majority. I just don't see the future getting better. I'm not against those folks, but it's just, it's too much in one direction. I, I think there's more to the story than standing on the corner and shouting. But. Andre Workas says the movement needs support to work, and she doesn't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Do you think there's credence to this, though? I think in their minds there is, but not necessarily so for the silent majority. Would you consider yourself part of the silent majority then? That is that 99 percent? Yeah, yes I would say so. Brad Waldock agrees that corporations like banks and other corporate targets for the Occupy movement are partly responsible for the problems the country is now facing. But he believes if something is to be done like an occupation, the message needs to be clearer than what is now being presented. The signs have gotten more and more diverse from the original intention, certainly. Um, it would be nice and probably more effective if they'd stick to the original message. Now, we reached out to the five banks that the Appleton Movement members marched on today. Two got back to us, M&I and Chase Bank. Both declined comment. As for what's next, the Appleton Movement plans to hold a vigil downtown and then occupy City Park until 11 when it closes. The group doesn't have the appropriate permits to camp overnight as previously planned. Now, in Green Bay, occupation organizers are in the planning stages of their occupation, saying they want theirs to be done as legally and professionally as possible. Laura?